tell me a little bit about your background and how it led to today you running for the house. So I grew up on a ranch in eastern Montana with my nine siblings and out in the country. We didn't have an address. We had a post office box. I, when my family moved to the county where I went to middle school, we raised a population of the county 1%. I had as many siblings as I did classmates. So I know rural America. It's where I grew up. It's um, what I call home. It's what formed me very much. And that that uh, growing up experience, being very deeply connected to the natural world, sledding under the northern lights and skating on rivers and all of those experiences, I think really got me into rowing as well. I mean, the rowing experience is very much one where you're very much in the world, in the natural world. You know what the weather is because you're living it every day. So I think that that's uh, super connected. And so running for Congress for me from Montana was really a step to have representation and a voice from rural America in the Democratic Congress. I think we very much need to have the voices heard from the people in rural America. And I know rural America, it's my home, it's where I grew up. It's um, very much something that I want to represent and be a voice and a champion for. There is a statistic thrown around a lot that men have to be asked maybe once or twice to run for office, but sometimes women have to be asked many times. So I'm always curious to ask women running for office, were there a lot of people telling you to run that you should, um, you know, enter the race or was there one pivotal moment where you decided to throw your hand into the ring? The pivotal moment for me really came when I was working on an energy project for Montana. It was a project that would have brought $200 million of new investment into Montana. And we were working on this project in front of the Utility Commission. And one of the commissioners said, well, those wind turbines are dangerous. They cause cancer and they fly off and they kill people. And my client, who I was working on this project with, turned to me and said, did he just say that? And I thought, oh my gosh, he did just say that. And my client said, you know, I could go anywhere. I don't have to invest in Montana. I don't even have to invest in America. I can go to Columbia. And I thought, that is not the America that I know. I'm an attorney. I have practiced here in Montana for over two decades. And decisions really have to be made on facts, the rule of law, and Um, you know, practical experience. And so, you know, to go into a courtroom and to put on your case and to get a fair decision up or down, we just want it to all be fair and to be sane and rational. And I thought, I'm not, that's not America. That's not our democratic world. And I'm not going to live in that world without fighting for it. So I, you know, I, I decided I think that was a moment I didn't decide right then and there I would run for office, but something switched in my brain and I thought, you know, our elected officials have to be accountable to the people and they have to be willing to follow the rule of law set out in our constitution and be fair and make decisions based on the facts and the law. That's who we are as Americans. That's what I believe in. And that's why I ultimately got into this race. But nobody asked me to run. I mean, nobody said, hey, you know, this is uh, something that you should do. It's something that I decided to do because I, I'm i from here. I live here. I have one home. It's in Montana. I'm tired of rich people from California, like my opponent coming here and saying, oh, I'm going to represent you. And they don't know anything about the world that we actually live in here in Montana. I live here. I'm raising my kids here and I pay property taxes. I pay the, you know, the expenses that are the function of the high cost of housing. I know the issues that we're facing on the ground because this is my home.